Hello, this is At Home with Miss Joan this morning. I just thought I'd start out by showing you a uh, preacher's warm fire he's got going for us this morning in the wood heater. And uh, you'll see now why I have on a short sleeve shirt filming this video today. Hello, this is At Home with Miss Joan this morning. And uh, I went in there to show you my warm, toasty fire before I come in here to show you chicken salad recipe. I don't know if Pritchard's my video man today. And this is just a simple little recipe that we use to make chicken salad. Uh, it's just chicken, boiled eggs, mayonnaise, uh, sweet pickles, apples. I put a little sweet and low in it. You can use sugar and mustard. So uh, let's get going. If you'll remember on my uh, chicken dressing recipe, I told y'all if you would cook up chicken way ahead of time and for keep it froze with the broth with it to keep it moist, you can make all kind of recipes. And so this is just one of the many recipes. And maybe sometime or another I can link all the recipes together that I video out of just freezing your chicken and having it ready to go. So my ready to go recipe I'm going to use this for today is I plan to make chicken salad and then I also plan to turn around and use this same chicken that I've got thawed out for a chicken pot pie. So anyway, I have pre-cut some chicken to save a little time on the video. And I was, I'll just kind of measure this so I can help you know. There goes one cup. Oh, look at that. Two cups of chicken is what I'm putting in this. Now, <clears throat> I use my kitchen scissors, man. I use them all the time. But I, I was going to show you just how I cut mine up. You cut it up however you want to. There's a piece of my cooked chicken, and I just take my scissors and make little pieces. It don't take but just a New York minute to get enough chicken cut up for some chicken salad. I'm going to move that just a little bit out of the way. All right. Oh, the next thing is boil your two eggs. Chop them up real fine and put that in it. So I've got chicken and two cups of chicken and two boiled eggs cut up into this. And then I have to tell you my little apple story. I had done my grocery pickup order and I was driving over there to pick it up and I didn't order any apples. And I thought, man, I wish I had some apples, but I was just too tired to get out and go in the store and get some. So when I got home from getting my pickup order, there in that sack, was an apple. Have you ever? They had decided to give me an apple as an, a gift. You know how they give you a little gift sometimes for using their pickup service. Well, there in a pretty little box was the biggest apple you've ever seen. And I just saw that as some kind of little God wink because I just believe he supplies everything that we need and a, a lot of things that we want. But look how much that one apple made in the, I've lost my measuring cup, here it is tell you how much apple we're putting in here. I would put two small apples or one big one because this one was certainly a big one. Look at that. There's one cup of chopped apple. Wow. So we got uh, two cups of chicken and two cups of chopped apple, which had to be about two small apples. So uh, I'm just stirring this up. This is going to be a wonderful surprise for my daughter who's a school teacher. She'll swing by here this afternoon. You can be sure of it after school and she'll see kind of what we got for supper. But I'm going to have her this little surprise because she loves to take this for her lunch and, and she's going to be tickled over this chicken salad. She don't know anything about it. All right. Now, I add some uh, sweet pickles and I've already told you these are my homemade pickles. But you can get, I like that brand Mount Olive Sweet gherkins and you chop them up real fine and use that juice and it's a good sweet juice it's not tart like some of them okay i'm gonna put a teaspoon of chopped sweet pickles in here and uh, that was kind of a heaping teaspoon and i can see right off by stirring it up that's not enough so i'm gonna go in here and put another one and i'm gonna pour a little bit of the juice oh that's gonna make it so good really i would say uh, you need about two tablespoons of your sweet pickles. Don't turn your nose up at these sweet pickles. It makes it so, so good. We got chicken, boiled eggs, and pickles, and apples in here. And now it's time to add what we're gonna make for our sauce. I'm just gonna use mayonnaise and mustard and some sweet and low. 
And uh, let's see about the mayonnaise. All right. I'm going to start one, two, three. I'm going to put four tablespoons in right now. And look, I don't know, preacher. Preacher's my video man. And can you see that preacher? And it's okay if you talk to me as we go. They know we just home folks, but we're not professionals by a long shot. But it, again, it's to mix it up to the creaminess that you want. And then I'm going to add some mustard. Now, I think I measured it off one time and it was a fourth of a teaspoon. Of course, it matters about how tart that you want. So I'm putting a little mustard in there. That might have been a whole teaspoon, but mustard. So I got chicken, boiled eggs, mayonnaise, of course my salad pickles with the juice, apples, and now I'm going to give it a little bit of sweetness by adding some sweet and low on the taste of it first because these apples are sweet. Mm, they're good all by itself. So, this is just sweet and low. You can use real sugar if you want to. If you watch my videos, you know I use a lot of sugar. Now, to me, this is looking a little bit dry. I'm going to put just a little bit more mayonnaise. I can't wait to see the smile on Jordan's face when she comes in and sees that she's got this for her lunches. Mm. Mm -mm. If I don't need it all up myself, I like it pretty good. That was just two packs of sweet low. Let me try another little bite. Mm, that's good. I'm gonna put one more pack. I believe three packs is enough for this. It just gives it just a little bit of sweetness. We are adding any more calories. I'm talking about my mouthful, excuse me. All right. Why don't we see what I can get up here to dump this out in so you can see it. I mess you up, preacher, by standing up. I just wanted them to see it. Oh, you can serve this on a bed of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Why don't y'all comment down below all the ways you make your chicken salad? Mm -hmm. Grapes is good. I know a lot of people use grapes and pecans. Just anything you got. Some people like dill pickles instead of the sweet like we do. Here it is. Now, I didn't peel the apples. Did you notice that? I like that red color in there. I'm a sucker for how things look too, as well as how they taste. But uh, right here this morning, I know the table looks a little messy for me. Can you get a shot of that preacher? Here is homemade chicken salad. Good in the sandwich, on crackers, just any way you want to do it. Made out of some chicken I already had cooked and froze in my uh, freezer. So I can make it any time I want to if I got an apple and the Lord supplied that. You learned it right here at home with Miss Jonah. Thank Preacher for videoing for me today.